Okay, now that we have our Oreos all smashed up, let's go ahead and slide that over to the side. Grabbing one block of Philadelphia cream cheese, just making sure that it's softened to room temperature. And grabbing one box of some Oreo Fun Fetty cake mix, and we're just gonna pour that all right on top of there. Wow, look at that. It is looking great already. Oh my goodness, you guys. I love me some Oreos. How about you? Now we have, gosh knows how many different kinds of Oreos. What's your favorite kind of Oreo? We are just about all mixed up here. You can kind of see this consistency that the cream cheese is getting whipped in with this cake mix. Ooh, smelling so good. Ooh, this is gonna be such a great little simple, easy, sweet treat. Now that we have all of this kind of mixed in just the way we want, we're gonna pop this in the fridge. We're just gonna put it in there for about, I don't know, I'd say 20 minutes. We want the cream cheese to kind of re-harden up again. That way it's easier for us to work with. So let's pop this in the fridge and we'll be right back. All right guys, we are good to go on our cream cheese cake mix and I can't wait to try these when they're done. Ooh, let's just take that, slide it to the side. I'm going to bring over my Oreos here that are nice and smashed up in there. Perfect. And I'm just using a spoon here and I'm gonna grab I don't know, probably about this much, and you just wanna ball it all together with your clean hands. Nice ball, see how good that's working? That texture is so good. And then we're just gonna roll it around and stick some of these Oreos right along the outside. Look at that, ooh, so delicious. Okay, so here's our little cheesecake ball. We'll just transfer that over onto our baking sheet. Three ingredients, no baked dessert. Come on, seriously. And it's bite size. You can make them small, big. I feel like when you can have bite sized desserts too, maybe that gives you a little bit more consciousness on how much you eat. Is that is that a thing or? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> or no? No, you just gotta eat more of them. All right, you guys, we'll keep it going. Ball it all up until you're all done with your cake mix. Just finishing up our last little cheesecake bite here, rolling it in the rest of these Oreo crumbs. There we go, you guys, look at these. Oh my goodness. These are gonna be a bite-sized tasty treat. I'm gonna stick these back in the fridge just for a few more minutes, probably about 20 minutes or so, I would say. Um, I just want them to harden up a little bit more and then they're gonna be ready to eat and I can't wait. Ooh, our cake bites are nice and firm. I cannot wait to try these. I am just going to place them all on my plate. You guys, I am going to give these to my daughter. She's gonna take them to school for her birthday on Wednesday, which is also Valentine's Day. These are gonna be a hit. I'm sure everybody will love them. Look at how good they look and they're so easy. Oh my goodness, you guys. Three ingredients, no bake, cheesecake bites, chocolate. Need I say more? Sheesh. I know. Look at how good those look. All right, I'm gonna take this one right here. Mm, can't wait to try these. I'm gonna sink my teeth right into it. Wow, that is delicious. Oh my goodness. Who would have thought cream cheese cake mix and some Oreo crumbles would be so tasty. Yum. Would you try this? Would you use something different? I'm sure you could do other variations. Let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, I think you'll like these a lot. Mm, 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 mm. 